Hey guys, good morning. Let's go to Sydney. I just got to the airport. I parked in the term long terminal. Wait, wait, hold up. Long value car park. The value car park. So basically, you can park here for longer periods of time and it ends up being cheaper. And I'm going to be parking for like five days. So I feel like that is our best option. Honestly, the drive here was kind of crazy. Like, why is there so much traffic at 5.30 in the morning? Like, the amount of trucks that appeared as soon as my turn off came and I was trying to like change lanes, but I was also trying not to have an accident it was a bit stressful but here we are it's six o'clock my flight's at 7 30 like we got heaps of time i'm going to make my way to the actual airport now there's like a bus you have to take i'm going to check in my bags at the airport and then i'm going to have some breakfast because i haven't actually had breakfast because i didn't want to eat at like 4 30 in the morning like that's way too early but anyway we're here now we're gonna go see harry again and we're gonna go to sydney let's go coming to Sydney to see Harry and she just landed like 10 minutes ago and we figured that out and we're like oh my gosh we can literally meet so spontaneously we're meeting which is honestly kind of crazy we've been friends for like so many years I think we became friends after my Harry vlog last time because she also came to Melbourne to see Harry so we're about to meet um, I'm actually so nervous why am I nervous like I don't know Okay guys, she is making her way here. I feel like I should vlog us meeting. Why am I so scared? I'm so scared. Hey guys, so it has been a while. Basically all of today I hung out with Taylor and her friend because it was like we had met and I wanted to hang out with her for a little bit and I couldn't check into the room for a couple of hours anyway. So anyway, I just got into the room. This place is so fancy guys. I usually don't stay in like fancy places. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. I only just walked in. So like this is gonna be like a real raw, honest reaction to the room, so. Let's go. I'm so excited. Also, my friend that I'm staying with is not here yet. She's going to be here in probably about two hours. So I have time to just like chill before she gets here. Walk in. There's no lock on the door because it's like automatically locked. And this is what you see. Oh, stop. So it's literally like an apartment. So you walk in and here's like the little kitchen. There's a dishwasher. Are you joking? There's like so much here. Like glasses. Guys, like I don't stay in places like this. So this is definitely something very new. We've got coffee. Ooh, a toaster. Oh my gosh, we can literally cook. That's so good. We can literally cook. There's so many drawers. Ooh, you guys are probably like, this is literally a full kitchen. Stop. And I was that excited about the one in the Gold Coast that this is just like, are you joking? I don't stay in places like this at all. So like, this is crazy. Anyway, there's a little table. We can have some cute little like dinners. We're probably gonna do a lot of our own food. There's a mirror. Don't mind the fit. I just super chill. Also, this lady in the lift was like, are you from California? Cause my t-shirt says California. Like she's like, are you from California too? I was like, no, I'm literally Australian. But I literally checked into this hotel looking like this. <laughs> Bit out of place, but it's fine. Anyway, moving on. This is like the vibe. Ooh, got like a Sydney Harbour. And then there's another picture up there. Got like some coasters. Got the TV. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's a balcony. I feel like I should just um, go out here now. Okay, this is the view. Ooh, you can like see the harbour a little bit, like the water. 
but that's about it. Yeah, it is very windy today, hence why I don't really want to spend time out there because my hair's already a mess from the wind. Okay, moving on. This is the bathroom, a very, very nice shower. And there's like laundry stuff. That's really cool. I've never actually stayed in a hotel that had like laundry stuff. Oh, this will be so good for putting things in. Like, all our skincare can go in here. That's really cool. So that's the bathroom. And then out here is the bedroom. And there's a TV in here too. This is so nice. What the heck? Are you joking? Look at this view. Look at that view. That is the room. Are you joking? It's like so nice. It just looks so aesthetic. Like literally just this just looks so nice with the sun coming through and then like in the bedroom too. <gasps> Stop. And this mirror. So good. Yeah, my friend's gonna be here probably in like two hours, roughly. So I have time to just like unpack and chill. I reckon that's what I'm gonna do is like unpack because I can like fully unpack stuff. I'll probably vlog more when my friend actually gets here. So for the most part, I'm gonna relax because I feel like I just look like a mess. Hi friends. So I just wanted to sit down and chat to you a little bit because I feel like these vlogs have been super go, go, go. And I feel like this one's also gonna be super go, go, go. I just wanted to say, I feel so happy and so grateful to be experiencing this whole thing right now. Like seeing Harry four times is a lot, I know, but it is genuinely one of the most memorable experiences of my life and just being able to go to multiple shows and see an artist you love is such an amazing experience like i can't really describe it i just love harry so much and i've been following him for so many years so the fact that i'm actually able to see him multiple times and really like have this full experience of like traveling going into stay i am super grateful and just super happy to be alive and experiencing this and it's also just a reminder to you know do things that you want to do like go travel go to that concert spend that money because spending money on experiences is so worth it i honestly would rather collect experiences and be rich in experiences and life events than be rich with money like obviously that being said still be reasonable with how you spend your money but i think things like this opportunities like this don't come across a lot of the time so the fact that i'm able to do this right now and have this experience is just the best thing and i just wanted to include that in there because i feel like i didn't really say much in the melbourne vlog i'm just super like sentimental right now and just feeling really grateful and i really hope you guys do enjoy this vlog i guess it's like in a way i want to encourage you guys to you know go out and do things and experience things that's all from me for the moment i'll talk to you guys later Hey guys, my friend is here, but probably won't really be able to vlog too much because we have to sort out parking. Like she has to park her car and stuff. So as much as I'm meeting her for the first time, we also have to sort this out. So I'll keep you guys updated. Ooh. Hi guys, good morning. It is day two and this weather today is not quite it. It's not quite it. I like everywhere I go I bring Melbourne weather with me I don't know it happens every time this is like today or at least this morning like what is going on so that's the weather it's kind of loud out here it said it was supposed to clear within like an hour of us getting up obviously that has not happened like so we had like plans for today and I think we're still gonna try and mostly go ahead with them because I feel like we don't want to just like sit around and do nothing because we're not here for like that long either like the next two days will kind of be based around the concert so we're like okay today's like our full day to go out and do things I feel like we're just gonna do what we can this is the outfit for today I didn't really know what to wear because the weather's super like I don't know so I was like I'll wear something that's kind of like summery because it is a little bit warm and then I'll chuck this on just because it's not entirely summery but that's that's the vibe for today and then I just got the platform converse as well so guys I'm actually not here alone <laughs> I'm actually with one of my friends Hello. Eliza <laughs> so we've been friends for I don't even know like what a few years I, yeah but we've never met so no, we've met for the first know. time this trip make sure to go subscribe to her, her channel I'll link it down below Thank so she does like so similar much. content like vlogs yeah. and stuff but so go Natalie's subscribe more consistent. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm a little slack on that one. But we're both vlogging Love on Tour. Yes, so make sure to go watch her video as well. I'll link everything down below. But we're going to go explore Sydney now and try and embrace this Melbourne-like weather. Horrible weather. Anyways, so I'll keep you guys updated with the day ahead. Woo, woo, woo. so long to focus every time. We're in H&M and we're getting some last minute, well it's not really last minute, it's tomorrow. We're getting some things for Harry. We're just looking for like accessories and stuff because it's love on tour like you gotta go full out. I'm gonna get copyrighted so bye. Why does my hair? <laughs> I've got my tour top on. I feel like this is just like I'm always wearing this in this vlog. But we just got back to the room. It's like 5 p.m. We've been walking around pretty much all day, just doing like tourist things, and then we also went shopping to get some things for Eliza's outfits. She got some earrings and stuff like that. So she's just organizing her outfits now. We need to dash out to Coles to get some sewing stuff because she's gonna sew like kind of feathery things on the bottom of her pants which is gonna look sick hi so we are about to go get dinner just change it to this top and some pants <laughs> That lighting is, is not quite it. So we just had dinner and we've come back to the harbour because it's the harbour at night so stunning. It's so pretty. Yeah, at dinner we were like discussing like our plans for Harry tomorrow because we're in the pit, you know. I feel like you have to kind of figure out what time you want to get there and all that. So we've been figuring that out. So I'll show you guys the view. This is the view. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> This is the view. Oh, pretty. And like Luna Park over there. You can't really see it, but stop. I love Sydney so much. Um, so we're going to take more photos. Why is this? There we go. We're going to... Oh, this light behind you. We're going to um, take more photos and then we've got to like try and find ponchos for tomorrow because supposedly it's raining all day. It's raining all day. And I already got rained on in Melbourne, so that's so not... Praying that that doesn't That's happen. not happening again. Or if it does, I'm going to have At a poncho. Prepared. Yeah. We just spent ten dollars on poncho each. Ten dollars each. Did you buy any? An adult yeah. poncho. One. Just one. Just one. So ten like, dollars. Kind of hoping it rains tomorrow, but also like. But also please no. Rain, but I think it is gonna rain, so at least we get to use the pink ponchos. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Almost more than my actual Harry ticket tab. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. So um. That was our rain. That's the update. Sorry. Hey. So I'm currently sitting on the floor in my merch again it's like oh, i went to go check the time there is no watch on my arm but there is a watch tan it is 10 41 very specific the concert is tomorrow we're planning to get there around like 8 30 like we'll probably get there 8 30. i just pre-booked an uber because it's quicker to uber than taking the train and i just feel like it's going to be less stressful if we Uber. So we should roughly get there around 8.30. And the official line is supposed to start at 8. Before the actual official line with the stadium starts, it's a little different because it's, like, based on the fans and everything. Um, and, like, a trust kind of process. Which, it ran pretty smoothly night two in Melbourne. But night one apparently wasn't good. Anyway, so, yeah, we're just going to, like, go to bed soon, I reckon. And the plan is to basically go ready because the stadium also doesn't cloak anything. Which, Melbourne did that, but here they don't. So we can't really bring anything that we can't like bring in. So we're going to bring like snacks and stuff in a bag like this. So if we need to throw that away, that's like fine. Everything else is just like stuff we're going to bring in. Also guys, we hung up our outfits in 
the closet so i'm going to show you because like you would have already seen them by the time this goes up anyway so let's go have a look so like isn't this like ah, it's so pretty so that's my night one outfit that's my night two outfit and this is eliza's night one night two yeah so i've left my wristbands on not to be that girl but i just feel like i want like all my wristbands on my arm so i feel like that's why that's there we're gonna sign off for the night i will see you guys tomorrow i probably won't vlog too much getting ready because i'm gonna try and get ready really quickly so we can like go but i'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow's the big day tomorrow's the big day see you then good morning it is 6 30. <laughs> um wait do i got a short today it's time to get ready to see harry i feel like i'll ch just check back in when i'm ready because i feel like it's way too early to be talking <laughs> okay i'll see you guys soon so i'm all ready i've just put my tour top over my outfit but we are gonna head off now our uber is gonna be here in like 10 minutes so we're gonna go so it is a few hours later it's like one basically almost one o'clock we have gotten in and we're in the line. Well, we're not in the line right now. I'm reckon we're quite close though. Yeah, like, I don't know, maybe 200. So I reckon it's still like yeah. 200, maybe 250. Yeah, but we're getting um food now. We've got some Uber Eats. We couldn't like Uber Eats it to the stadium, which is like fair enough. Cause, so I've just had to walk across the Yeah, line. to like the hotel. The stadium? Over there. Over there. Over so there. we're gonna get our food and then we're gonna bring it back. We have our bags, we are so Ooh. excited. I look like I'm wearing pajamas for kids. Guys, so we got our wrist. We're gonna get let into the kitchen pod soon. How are you feeling? Uh, I honestly, like, I'm just sitting here in silence because I'm so nervous. I've never seen Harry's live ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Not one direction, no Harry. First time. We're going in. Going in. As am I. My name is Harry. It's a pleasure to be here to play for tonight. Thank you so much for coming out and choosing to spend your evening with us. Thank you for being here. It means so much to us. I have not been in Australia for about five years. It is a pleasure to be back. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for waiting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every single one of you here tonight. Are you ready to have a bit of fun with us this evening?
how much I enjoy that. You stay for a while. You may not do any more songs. You might just do that. About 45 minutes. See how, how long it takes to get tired. Never! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi! See? It's endless. The joy is endless. You've been absolutely incredible tonight, Sydney. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From this side, all the way around to this side, top to bottom, front to back, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. If you know the words of these next few If you're feeling down, I just want to make you happy again. do this if you guys don't come. I know that. Otherwise it's just me in this empty place, prancing around. Hi friends, so it is the day after night one. A lot of thoughts, but at the same time, no thoughts. But I'm trying to think whether that show was better than Melbourne Night 2, and I low-key think it was, because we got medicine. He played medicine. Are you joking? Like, I genuinely cannot believe that happened. I have no words, guys, like none at all but so many at the same time. Last show tonight, we've got seated tickets tonight, so it's gonna be one of those shows that I'm thinking we're just gonna be like dancing and singing. The last Australian show, like, oh, so sad. Yeah, I'm not sure what our plan is today. Obviously we've had a big sleep in because it was a really big day last night. We might get some lunch or something, although it's kind of like breakfast at this point. Um, and then we're gonna get ready for the concert tonight, so. Um, the vlog. Updating the vlog. So, 
yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but I feel like there won't be as much going on today as there was yesterday, because yesterday was like the big crazy day. But honestly, it was like one of the best nights of my life. Like that and Melbourne night too, I genuinely think were like the best two nights of my life. It's like, how am I gonna top that? How am I gonna top that? You don't top that. Hello, we're at the train station now. Where our plan is to go to the rocks to get like probably food and coffee. Um, and there's like a market there apparently. So we're gonna go there. We went there um, for coffee and everything the other day. So we're gonna go back. We've got all our Harry got our like Harry merch on. Yeah. Um, have you been showering with these on? Yeah. Yeah. so loose. Yeah. Like my like Live Nation one. I had to take my Melbourne one off because he was like, uh, you have to take it off. And I was like, can I please keep it? He was like, yeah, that's fine. So I had to cut it, oh, cut it off. Yeah. Into the so that's the plan, guys. Yeah. Um, getting keen for tonight. Ooh. friends so just got ready for the last show the final show so today's theme is obviously orange which is my favorite color i went for like this hair with like some little clips went for some orange makeup with these little hearts decided to wear the cherry earrings again because they match these and i also love them and then i have this little top from princess polly and i'm borrowing sam's orange feather boa because i don't have one so these tickets we're kind of not not like spontaneous, but originally we were only going last night, but then we were like, why not go night two? Because it's the last show in Australia. So tonight's gonna be more of like a chill, just like dancing, having fun, living in the moment. I'm just gonna have fun and dance and, you know, really soak in the last, the final show. Wait, Sign of the Times is really gonna hit like different today because welcome to the final show, you know? We're gonna hit the road, so might chat to you guys there. Oh, hey. Good job. 